New tonight, allowing renters to have pets. There's a new push in Arlington to require landlords to allow tenants to own mm. common animals. As WBZ's Laura Hayfley explains, it could help ease the housing crunch. At least that's how the city sees it. An animal's like a family member. Paul Schlichtman and his cat Mike are behind a new bylaw in Arlington requiring rental and condominium agreements to allow residents to own common household pets like cats or dogs. We do mention rabbits and hamsters and guinea pigs and fish. No pet policy would not be legal if this bylaw is passed. Schlichtman and his co-authors have the support of animal agencies, including the MSPCA, claiming the bylaws impacts are widespread, including on the Massachusetts housing market. At a time when there is a housing crisis for people with animals, it's even more difficult to try to keep their family together. Problems with finding housing is almost always the number one reason for people surrendering their animals. MSPCA Director of Advocacy Carol Holmquist tells WBZ tenants with pets often remain tenants for longer. There's precedent that shows that having pets in different types of housing works well. You shouldn't be forced to choose between housing and your beloved cat. But not all neighbors agree. You know, pets are great, but I was a little concerned about some of the other impacts it might have on people. Steve Bursick concerned landlords may be losing their rights too. It's their house and they, they want to have some control over it. They might be allergic to pets, especially with you know, larger animals. They might have some trauma associated with that. The bylaw does have restrictions, including requiring animals to be licensed and spayed or neutered. It also gives landlords the right to charge additional fees for pets. You'd have to be a, a responsible pet owner. So what happens next? Well, this bylaw will go to a town meeting at the end of April. It will need a majority vote, at which point it will go to the AG's office for approval or not. In Arlington, Laura Hayfley, WBZ News.